Today we're going to talk about upgrading the uh, gear on the Turbo Timber Evolution uh, the cheapest way possible, I think. I've seen a lot of people try to perform upgrades or even custom kits for this plane, uh, but what I've come up with is the uh, Twin Timber that came out last year um, has much needed upgrade on the uh, on the gear system and today I'm going to install that on the Turbo Timber Evolution. Uh, it consists of these um, springs and if you compare them to the ones I actually got started and decided to do this but I'll show you here in a second. There's considerable difference between these two right here on the strength. So these is the, this is actually the problem with the gear on this airplane and if you hit the ground hard at all as you can see this set right here is actually already bent and they usually bend right in here or right out there but it's usually right in here is where it bends right in this area where this right here and so it bends and then one spring becomes softer than the other and then with the weight of the wings on the airplane the airplane sits kind of cockeyed or, or a little bit slanted on the runway which isn't good for takeoff and landing so i think we've come up with a way to fix this uh pretty cheap so you're going to need to buy two things from eFlight, and the first thing is this spring set, and it's off of a uh, twin timber, the twin timber that came out, and then the screw kit that came off the twin timber. And for reference, um, the spring set is EFL23883. Don't you get a picture of that or a swimming? All right. And the other thing you're going to need to buy is the screw kit for the twin timber. And that is EFL 23894. And that should be the only two things you need to do this upgrade besides um, a socket. I don't know what size this socket is. 5.5 millimeters. If you can come up with two 5.5 millimeters, that'd be even better. I only have one. So that and a pair of uh, pliers, along with a just a regular Phillips screwdriver, we should be able to perform this upgrade. So getting started, you can see here, I actually already got started and then decided that online, I've not seen anybody do this, so I decided to make the video. But let me show you what I've done so far. It's uh, pretty simple. It's just simple disassembly. This was mounted here, and it was mounted with these little screws with washers that you can see here in my hand, just a screw with a washer. And so you have to undo two screws down here at the bottom, which is here and here, and then, this comes up here and the back of the axle was here and the back of the axle is just held on by a standard nut and that's the 5.5 millimeter nut so the first thing i did was take the nuts off the back undo two screws and, and it fell apart to what you see here and that means we got all the old pieces off and now we're ready to get started all right so the first step we're going to do is um realize that these two springs if you look at them the ends right here they are angled differently you can see if i flip one of them over um, you can see how much the angle is different and by the way since i was not up close earlier this is how much bigger the spring is on on this versus the uh the uh, the regular evolution versus the twin timber um, what you're going to want to do is the part that it has the between these two, you can see there's a different angle here on the end. The part with the steeper angle, or the, or the that's bent further, goes up behind the wheel. And then you can see it lines up almost perfect when you do it that way. Now let me get this screw bag open uh, with, all the, with all the screws we need and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I've got the uh, screw kit opened. Of course, there's all kinds of things in here we're not gonna need. But just to show you, you're going to look for, there's two screws. Oh, this is all the stuff we're retiring over here. There's the old axles. And the difference is the uh, on the back side of the axle, how long the threads are. So we're retiring those. We're going to retire the two screws that went into the bottom of the fuselage uh, that held the springs on. Uh, and then there's some, uh, this was on the back and the front of the wheels on the axles. I'm going to go ahead and put new on. I don't see any reason to put the old ones back on. I know the new ones will fit the new axles. I'm pretty sure they're the same threads. So what you need on the new kit are these four washers right here. They're the four gold colored, brass colored. I think they are washers. The two longer axles. I'm going to go ahead and put the four new bolt, uh, four new nuts on. And then I'm going to show you the difference here. In the screw kit, you're going to find a pile of screws like 
like this size, and you're gonna find two that are slightly different. And you're looking for the two that are slightly different. They're a little bit thicker around and not quite as long, and they're thicker around. And there's two of those, and there's one, two, three, four, about eight of these. Well, we don't need these. I was just wanting to show you that you're looking for the two that are slightly different size. All right, so the first step is we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the first spring here. Remember, we're gonna put the one that has the sharper curve uh, towards, the, uh, towards the back of the wheel. But there's these big brass washers that you push right through there like this. See that right there? And then, of course, the same thing down here. And so we're gonna do that down here first. <coughs> you just put that washer inside that spring, uh, drop one of these screws in here, and then you come up to the plane and the same hole that you were uh, removed the other spring system from, we're gonna screw these in. Presumably this is a little bit longer screw and I think that's probably because these are um, gonna let give less and we don't wanna pull the, the spring right out of the bottom of the airplane. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that a little bit loose for now so it's got some wiggle in it <coughs> and it's adjustable. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna take the side that's not quite bent quite as far. I'm gonna go ahead and put a washer in it. Continue this process, washer, screw through the washer. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna attach it right there. Um, once again, putting the side with the, with the least slant. Uh, I'm trying to think about if this is gonna line up just right. That one does. This one's going to, yep. So keep the process going here. We're gonna push that in, leave it not quite tight so that we've got some wiggle room to move it around and get everything lined up perfectly before we tighten everything down. And back it off just a hair. All right. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take one of these axles and um, right here. And I think what the, I'm gonna attempt here is just go ahead and put the tire on it uh, I'm going to go ahead and slightly put one of these new um, mm, slightly put one of these new nuts on there. Let's get it started. And then like I said, I only have one of these sockets, so I'm going to um, just there's a little bitty square nut on the back here, and I'm going to just grab it with a pair of uh, pliers here. And then I can go ahead and tighten this down just a little bit like that. And then uh, not to over tighten it. Over, I'm gonna over tighten it and back it off just a little bit to make sure the wheel rolls smoothly. Seems like it does, so I think we're good. Then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna put the axle through the gear arm. Put the little brass washer right here through the spring. Get all that lined up as such. Put a, another nut on this side all right and then we're going to tighten this one down and i may have to like i said hold this nut here on the front um, i'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one all the way down and all right we're tight and then i need to back the one off on this side just a little bit now where i tightened it down so the wheel rolls smoothly and it does. So that side's on. Now that, um, well, then let's go ahead and do the other side. I think I'm gonna do it the same way again. You could put the tire on second, but a tire kind of gives me something to hold on to. So I'm gonna put uh, this through the tire, put the, uh, hold the square nut right there. Um, grab one of these nuts and put on this side and then go ahead and tighten it up like I said I'll okay I went ahead and made it tight because and then at the end I'll back it off like I did on the other one uh, so you'll be able to see it I'm gonna go ahead and turn the plane around real quick here um, put this one through the gear arm and then we're gonna need the gold washer whoops get the plane then once you get it through the gold washer, put the gold washer through the uh, through the spring, 
put the once again, hand tighten it up a little bit till you kind of hit that plastic piece in there that's part of the lock. Uh, that's part of the lock washer. I'm going to, once again, hold the nut on this side and I'm going to need to do the right tool. We're going to put this in here. We're going to tighten it. Alright, go ahead and tighten it down. Get that coming out. And then I'm going to turn around once again. See, I'm going to loosen this wheel just a little bit on this side so that it rolls smoothly. There we go. I tighten it back up just a hair. I don't want them to wobble, but I don't want them to be loose. Uh, don't want them to be restricted either. There we go. Let's do the same thing on this one. I think I opened it up just a little too much. I like that. Now, remember the two screws we didn't tighten all the way right here? I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and just give those a little extra, little bit of torque. And folks, with that, uh, at the time of making the video, I think the springs were about $6. I think the screw kit was $9.99, $10. I know things don't always remain the same price. But at the time of making the video, for about 16 bucks, we were able to upgrade the gear to the uh, to the ones that come on the uh, twin timber. Uh, you can see they still do have that spring effect. Um, if you hit the ground hard, they're going to spread out like that. But these springs are so much more substantial that um, I don't think I'll be replacing the springs like I did in the past. And you have a fully upgraded kit. Like I said, uh, if you like the video and if you want to see more of stuff like this, like and subscribe to the channel so you'll know when stuff come out. And uh, I think the next video we'll make was a gear upgrade for the uh, Viper 70mm, so stay tuned for that one.